Konnichiwa guys what did I just do yeah okay so we are back again with another problem and in today's problem what we need to do is we need to find the greatest element and this is the third problem of the series in the first problem we were given an array and we had to find the greater element after that element but here what we have what we are given is an integer n and it is made up of some digits in this case it is 2 and those digits may or may not be distinct but we need to find another integer y or x such that that integer is greater than n is of same consists the same digits as n that's it and it, the size is also the same as n so uh, what i'll do is this is the second time i'm recording this video that's why i've written <laughs> few codes already but here what i'll be doing is i'll be making a character array out of n uh, using this function called to ka to char array char array char array why now uh, what i'll be doing next is i'll create a iterator i and it would be at minus 1 right now but i'll start it from i equals to num dot length i greater than 0 not equals to and i minus minus now what i am doing here is i'll check for a condition that if the character at i minus 1 position is less than the character at ith position then break why because imagine a situation where uh, you are given a number 3 to 1 so the character at i minus 1 is 2 and it is 1 so it's not less and for 3 also it is not less so we can't by my logic that 3 to 1 does not have a next greater integer because you can't use these because these are already arranged in a descending order you can't find a just greater element to this because there isn't one so what I'll be doing here is if this condition is not true anywhere I'll return a minus one clearly but if this condition is true uh, I mean if this condition is true and we break out of the loop I am given an i so I'll first I'll create an integer x I'll name it as uh, let's call it uh, let it be the previous integer and another integer I'll make and I'll name it s for small smallest and I'll give it an integer i now again for in a for loop starting from j I'll create j okay let me just use it here only let me create it up now let me use it in this variable only from j equals to i plus 1 and j less than num dot length and j plus plus what am i looking for is that i have an element i and the element before i is greater than i that i know for sure that because we broke out of this loop uh, we broke out because of this loop so the element uh, at i minus 1 is less than the element at i i know for sure that i is greater than its element i minus 1 now i need to swap these two elements but before that i need to find if uh, there exists a number j such that it is less than x sorry it is greater than x that number should be greater than x as well as simultaneously that number should be smaller than the, this smallest number smaller than or equal to smaller than or equal to num at s that is the smallest if this condition is at any point true we make s equal to j that's it so now we have found the smallest number for example in this case i took an example of 1 3 uh, 5 4 2 our loops break at uh, 
uh, our loops break at five. That is the second index. Now the the best answer would be one two. Uh, one my array my I'll explain it in a while. Let me first code it. Then what I want to do is I want to swap in nums i and j done. Then what I want to do is I want to reverse. So I'll just write rep. I want num. I want from i plus from i included to num dot length minus one. Done. Now let me create two functions quickly. Private swap takes and and character a nums. Yeah, I can declare it like that. So it takes an integer i. It takes another integer j. Now I want to create a temporary character temp which will hold the value of i and i will hold the value of j and j will hold the value of i i mean the previous value of i which is currently 10 done then i want to create another private method let's call it reverse rep it also takes a character in num takes an integer i takes an integer j and it does one thing that while i is less than j yeah while i is less than j what this does is this swaps so character temp equals to num of i yeah, again the same thing just copy this paste it here now what this further does is this see we don't need i after this so we can increment here and we don't need j after this so we can increment it here now this will work yeah this will work and what else do i need to do is nothing i need to return that number i need to okay let's create a long b equals to long dot in i don't remember what is parse long i need to care array to long not in C in Java please I'm like not so good with all these functions because I'm new to Java but yeah I believe that this would be a easy conversion like a one line conversion yeah, yeah so it is integer dot parse integer dot parse uh, I believe L would be capital there if I is capital here. Okay, and if I would give it a new string, and I would in that string I would S should be capital. In that string I would pass the name of my previous string. Done. And I need to check for one more thing if my p is greater than a integer dot max well like this max and this total value then what i then what i want to do is i want to return minus one because then it won't be able to hold the value otherwise return b let's i hope we don't need to typecast it but if it says that possible loss of uh, precision then i will okay i haven't specified a return type there 
are void for both here void if this gives me an error i'll typecast my v to a num okay what's the issue here okay the j can't be found of course i want to swap it with s not j i'm so sorry yeah v incompatible type yeah mm, possible loss of precision so i'll just do this and i hope it works cannot find the simple i hope i haven't written anything wrong there maybe spelling so the method is incorrect oh it's long dot i'm so sorry i used in dj instead of long because i was so busy with that uh, solution which i got there my in how can i bound out of my index like it is well inside this this oh so i'm so sorry it should start from minus 1 not 1 let's check if something else happens it returns fine for this and i hope it works for all the my output is well okay my output is well and it should have been 20 points so where am i mistaking i am in my uh, swap i should yeah this and i and i should increase as well as this should increase so this would break at i equals to one and then it would just swap both of these terms and then am i reversing them also I need to go through the solution what my error is, but yeah, I maybe find that. Well, into my stupid world, I made two stupid mistakes, not just one. First, what I did is I was swapping the wrong element. I don't want to swap the smallest element with the current element because at my ith index, I found the index which I want to swap around, and. here i was incrementing j instead of decrementing it so i let's do it with an example my whole approach i'll explain you with an example so this easy example is one okay the other side is one yeah one two three four and five yeah what do i need to swap to make it the biggest uh, the next greatest integer is This four and five. If I swap them, done. My answer is here. So uh, this what here what this does is this creates an array of this this number, and this checks for the condition that at ith index i minus one should if i minus one is less than i break. So it breaks at the last index. And what we do here is we check if an element exists such that it is greater than 4 but it is less than 5 i'll explain you why we are doing this it does not go into this loop it does not it does nothing there but what it does it it swaps 4 and 5 and our answer is complete and for this reverse it does not reverse anything because our i is equal to num dot length minus 1 so this function is useless and we check if it is greater than the max value or not and if it's not greater than max value simply return v now again uh, let's take another example where it is uh, it is instead of 3 it is 5 4 and 3 now our uh, here uh, i uh, for this 3 and 4 i equals to the last index this condition is true this this condition is false for this index also the condition is false and for the fifth index the condition is true as 2 is less than 5 so at 5 the our loop breaks now what my swap algorithm does is it exchanges 2 with some number let's 
if I didn't have a reverse algorithm or I didn't have this loop. So what I would do is I would simply replace 2 with 5. No, I'm so sorry. Where did I write? Yeah, there. Come on. I would replace 2 with 5. So it would be 5, 3, 4. But clearly this is an incorrect answer. Because we have another integer. Our what our answer should have been at this place would be 1, 3, 2, 4, 5. This should have been our answer but our answer is this so what i realized here is that i don't need to swap these two elements i need to swap two with the smallest element such that it is greater than two but is it is smaller than five so in this loop i found four and then again i found three so now three is the element which i want to swap with two so i swapped three with two and rest everything was as it is mm, no issues now i realized one more thing that now this array is in descending order and it always will be in descending order because i breaks at second index and not before it so we for sure know that this is not true so this will always be in descending order if it is anywhere in ascending order i would have broken but since it did not we know this is in descending order and since we know that uh, there is another possibility which exists which is greater than 12,554 it is 13,245 and not 13,542 so what we need to do is we need to reverse these elements this should be 4, 2, this should be 4 and this should be 5 now it is 13254 instead of 13542 which is the answer so we need to find the small next smallest element smaller than i but greater than i minus one and what else do we need to find is we need to swap those element and then we need to reverse and this works in each and every case if we for example if we have an array like 4 5 3 2 1 this would break at i equals to 0 and return minus 1 clear but if it was uh, something else like uh, 4 5 3 2 1 or something so since this is decreasing till here till here it is here at, f at first index it is where the i breaks apart and then we search for a value which is lowest in this range so lowest that is greater than 4 and less than uh, 5 so such value does not exist here clearly which is greater than 4 and less than 5 so what we do is we swap them so after swapping what we have is 5 4 3 2 and 1 but what our answer should have been is 5 4 1 2 and 3 so what what we do next no no sorry so what our answer should have been it could have been uh, 5 1 2 3 4 so what we do next is we swap this full uh, we reverse this full array from i to n minus 1 and this gives us the answer this was the simple explanation and how to do this question and i hope uh, you were able to understand this even after all this mess up that i did and thank you for watching guys